Hi there. Wanted to give you a brief overview of what's new in version 2. So we are currently in the My Tasks view. Here, as you can see at the top, we have list, board, calendar. But you can create multiple list, multiple board, calendar views with different filters. So you can save your filters and access them even in the future. Then in the list view, earlier we had fixed columns in the My Task view, but now you can customize it. You can add your own custom fields or select any predefined fields that are available here. Then this is one of the examples. Let's say we are running uh, a deals campaign and there's some of the deals that we are working on. So in this board view, we can move up tasks from one step to another, from lead to lead qualified and so on and so forth. Further, we can create our own forms. So forms is a new feature that we launched. So you can create your own form, add your own questions from the right hand side options here. Once you do that, you can see this is how the form will look like for the end user to fill in. Forms are available for internal teams, also for external members uh, who you can share this form with. Once you fill up this form, the entries will reflect in the list view. Let's say you run a social media campaign, you're working on different posts that will go live across different platforms. So as you can see here, we also now have a multi-select field. So in addition to select, date, number, and text field, we also now have a multi-select field. Our dashboard is completely revamped. As you can see here, we have number of cards you can add. You can move your cards, adjust them as you like. And there are some predefined options and templates that you can utilize. Some of the new cards includes reach text card, number card, embed card. So here you can add your own embed that may be a Google Doc, a Google Sheet, or any other Figma file, YouTube, any anything else which you can embed into Smart Tasks. You also have an activity feed. So this gives you an overview on what has happened in this project in the last week. So this is an example of the timeline view. Here we have added more options. So as you can see, you can you can either consume the buffer between different tasks, maintain the buffer, or ignore the dependencies. Then there is baseline, critical path. All of the different options are available now in the timeline view. Then of course we had the portfolio view earlier. Now it is revamped with more options, more columns. Uh, you can see here we have milestones which milestones have been completed, which milestones are still pending. So it gives you an overview and of course you have an ability to add more columns like actual time, billable amount, profit, so and so forth. Then we have also introduced a time off option here. So as you can see, Olivia is currently on a time off. She's out of office. And you can see it is also reflected in the calendar view. So there is some shaded cells. This reflect that Olivia won't be available on these dates. This shaded cells or out of office information is also available in the timeline view and will also be available in the workload view so that's it from my end there's some of the updates that we released in version 2 for more you can check out uh, details on updates.smartas.io we keep on updating this page with new features that we launch if any doubts or questions feel free to reach out to our support team on email or on website chat Thanks. Bye-bye.